Hey guys, Ran here, and as promised, here's the second video of today discussing seal clubbing in the Panzer 54. Now, in this replay, I'm going to be playing with Darth, who is my friend from Texas, who I don't get to play with as much anymore because with work and everything, and him being from Texas, I can't quite stay up till 2 in the morning like I used to, which is kind of like the time difference usually when we end up playing because of the time difference to America. But there's one of those times when I do get to play with him, we always have fun. And this was the first game of the evening, well, morning. Because it's a bit of a thing, Darth loves his Panzer 54, and I love it too, because I love ramming people, but I don't play it too often, unless I'm in a platoon. And it's a bit of a tradition where usually, most of the time we play together, it will always start with a tier 5 game and Darth picking his Panzer 54, so I join him. Now, we're on whatever this map's called, Countess or something. I'm top tier, so I already know it's going to be disgusting. Now, let's talk about the equipment loadout I have in this vehicle. I don't have a gun rammer on this tank. Doesn't need one, it's that OP. So what I've got is, and some of you might think you know what I'm about to say, oh you've got both speed equipment. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have the spall liner, obviously, for ramming. I've got one speed equipment, I think the traction or whichever one gives you the 10% extra traverse speed, because as we all know the Panzer 54 doesn't turn too well and traverse speed helps with the ramming. And I've got coated optics, so that I can spot my victims from further away. So, that's kind of the setup I've got here, so yeah. Quite weird, probably one of the few tanks in the game I don't run a gun rammer on. Um, there's definitely not many. And now, the enemy have a Panzer 54, and they've got a Bogatier and everything. They have a couple Panzer 54s, I think. Can't quite remember. Or one or two. But, either way, when you're playing something like the Panzer 54, or the captured KV-1, which in my opinion is much more powerful than a Panzer 54. When you're playing these OP vehicles, it is your responsibility to deal with the other OP vehicles. So if I'm in a Panzer 54, I need to help my team deal with other Panzer 54s and capture KV-1s. And vice versa, if I'm in a captured KV-1, I've got to help my team against Panzer 54s and capture KV-1s. So, that's usually why, if I run into another kind of OP tank like myself, I will try and prioritize them to get rid of them for the team. Um, just to help them out a little bit. Now, if you do end up fighting against a Panzer 54, the thing to remember is you can go for the lower plate shot, but because of the angle on the upper plate and how small the lower plate is, your best bet is to shoot a Panzer 54 in the turret. That is the point that most tier 5 and tier 4 vehicles will be able to pen a Panzer 54 by just shooting straight in the face. The other thing to do is, if you have the silver available, load premium rounds. Even if you have enough penetration to go through a Panzer 54 without premium rounds, still low premium <laughs> rounds. The Panzer 54 driver will understand. I expect people to fire gold at me. I want them to. It's what I deserve for playing a Panzer 54. Just even if you're behind them, fire gold. Like it's what I do. Uh, if I remember, but remember I'm quite stupid, so sometimes I forget. Um, and also, quite often, I am actually struggling for silver because I need to buy loads of vehicles. So I am quite conscious of firing gold rounds sometimes if I need silver. And this is one of those situations where I didn't have too much silver and I had some vehicles to buy. First round attempt, I get a little nudge, but the little bastard manages to avoid me. So uh, that's quite sad right there. Um, do pick up the kill though, but unfortunately missed out on the proper full-blooded round. Now, I don't know why I've got Prim loaded right now. I think there might be a Panzer 54. Yep, there's a Panzer 54 over here. That's why I've got Prim loaded. <laughs> Shooting him in the side. I can easily go through my standard rounds, but you know. Just Panzer 54 things. Even struggling for silver, sometimes I just can't help myself. Now, the Panzer 54 is running into the town. Look at the map where our team is, and look how many people are left in both teams. This is still a pretty close game. Now I have a lot of hit points, which is nice, but look at how close the game is. I don't want to leave things to chance, so I'm going after the Panzer 54. This is that point I made earlier. I've got to help the team. I don't want that Panzer 54 ruining them, so I'm in hot pursuit. I'm now holding the standard rounds, because I'm going to be behind him, and I fired enough premium at him already. Again, it's the constant struggle between shooting a Panzer 54 premium, because that's what he deserves, and saving myself silver, because I need silver. But I'm now back to saving silver, and you're going to notice something here, right as I shoot, 
I shoot and then kill him. Meaning, I just ram kill the Panda 5-4 in my Panda 5-4. It wasn't much of an impressive ram, but it was a ram kill nonetheless, and I'm counting it. Now he's just got a couple enemies left in the corner. I have so many fucking hit points, I'm not worried in the slightest. You all know what's coming. I've got so many hit points. I'm in a Panda 5-4, I'm just gonna fucking full sand and go for the ram on these cons. And as you see, without a gun rammer, I've still done loads of damage, I've barely been touched from a little bit of intelligent gameplay. Um, the only damage I did take was pretty much my fault for, uh, you know, driving outside in front of people and whatnot. Try and auto lock, I've lined up my victim and now something very sad's about to happen. Full speed, go for the ram, look how close I'm going to get to him. The guy to my right fucking tracks me! And you see me look at him, because what I'm thinking in my head is, why would he do such a thing? Like, how could he do that? But I'm going to get my revenge here. Time to ram. But I was heartbroken, like genuinely, after he did that to me. It was genuine heartbreak. I didn't want to pick up the kill though, and you see, I got shot loads of times in the side because I tried to play like a tit, but I had enough hit points to just let him do it anyway. And just like that, no gun rammer, super easy game, just a bit of seal club and fun. Just under 3k damage, 6 kill, over 2000 base XP. Even with over 2000 base XP, I was actually still surprised it wasn't ace in the Panzer 5-4, but... There you go, bit of seal club in action. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.